the witness confirmed that he and Sabina Zeneta enhanced speeches from over 106 cassette recordings of LRA radio communications that were intercepted by Ugandan security agencies. The officers who took part in intercepting the radio communications testified at the ICC that LRA commanders discussed attacks and other matters using different codes. When these people are in Sudan, we actually pick them, intercept them right from the Sudan. But there are some points because of interference due to bad weather, that's when we are unable to pick them. But where now the range of the radio call cannot reach, then that means we are not able to pick them. Yesterday I mentioned that while we are doing our intercept work, there is also direction finding, which confirms that these people are communicating from Rubanga Tech. And this is what I mentioned yesterday, and I think you also... In January, an ISO officer witnessed P059 testified about his work tracking and recording LRA radio communications, which he said began in 2000. In February, a Ugandan military officer, P003, testified about the UPDF's interception of LRA radio communications. In all their testimonies, they confirmed selected extracts of the intercepts that were played in court. With the radio call, you may be stationed in Gulu, but you can intercept uh, communications in the Sudan. You can be stationed in Gulu and you can intercept uh, somebody who is in Soroti or in West Nile. So radio call, with radio call, you can intercept communication uh, even up to Sudan. So my staying in Gulu, I can pick communication in any part of Africa, even in Kenya, I can pick even when while I'm stationed in Gulu. Michael Rossi, a lawyer representing Ongwen, questioned Laroche on the details of how he and Zaneta enhanced the cassette tape recordings of LRA radio communications. Laroche said this program generated a report on each enhancement recording technical details such as which filters were applied to which sections of the tape. The session began with the defense challenging Laroche's testimony, arguing they had not been given enough notice of his testimony and that it would be prejudicial to their client. Thomas Obhoff, who made the submission on behalf of the defense, cited Rule 76 Clause 1, 76 3, and 77 of the ICC Rules of Procedure and Evidence. Rule 76 lays out what the prosecution is required to disclose to the defense during the pre-trial phase of a case. Rule 77 also deals with disclosures at a trial. After Larochi concluded his testimony, Judge Shimit adjourned hearings until October 30th when witness P138 is scheduled to begin testifying. This report was compiled by Fredericks Idia for UBC.